there are 860 people in attendance for the conference. If every person shook hands with every person in the room, except of course, no one shakes their own hands, how many handshakes took place? Although in the days of COVID, we don't really shake hands much anymore. Uh, and it does turn out that uh, your hands are more germy than your, your mouth. So again, avoid shaking hands in these days of COVID and other interesting things. Anyway, let's suppose we did a little elbow bumps. Now, a thing to think about here is that uh, every person has uh, 859 other people to meet but the order doesn't matter. It doesn't matter whether I shake your hand first or you shake mine, we're both shaking together. So this isn't a permutation, this is a combination. Uh, so one way to think about this would be to say, each of the 860 people, that's our first set of choices, has 859 people to meet. Now, the problem with this multiplication at first is it consider orders matters, that I shake your hand first and then you shake mine second. Uh, it turns out order doesn't matter, so we can just divide that by two to get rid of any double counting. So that ought to be the total number of handshakes that need to happen, or we could call it introduction or elbow bumps, whatever. <clears throat> Other way to think about this as a combination. So. Uh, this would be 860 people chosen two at a time. And with combinations, order does not matter, unlike permutation. And so that would be 860 factorial, if we were going to break this down in factorials, <clears throat> divided by 860 minus two factorial. And also on the bottom, we would have our two factorial. I guess I didn't need parentheses around that. And if you clean that up, it eventually cleans up to this green thing above, but I'm gonna enter these two on my calculator. So here's my first thought on the problem. Sh should be a combination also, calculated time. And new line, we've got at first glance, the fraction 860 times 859. And that double counts me meeting you and you meeting me. So we have to divide by two and we get 369,370 possible handshakes that would have to happen for everybody to meet everybody else. Alternatively, we could use the combination tool here. And on this calculator, I select the combination button first. And then I would say out of 860, I wanna grab them two at a time. And there I can see I get the same number as above. We could do the factorial version. Please feel free to try that if you like, but I think this is sufficient. A lot of introductions.